It is very challenging to come to realize that the storm you are suffering through to remain as you are is in fact present for you to not remain as you are. Who and what you have been is only a small part of the journey towards manifesting your inevitable greatness. This greatness is never left for the rest of the world to measure if it is great or not. It has nothing to do with anyone else other than yourself. The storm you are within is for the purpose of showing you who you are in the present, while moving your forwards towards who you are destined to be. We are part of a divine and challenging journey to know, self. It is a natural human quality to at times become the storm and some of its dual ingredients which we are apt to feel inside. This time of anger, hurt and frustration is but a period of self-examination. It is not a period of self-gloating or confirmation of what has transpired against you in the past. It is a time of coming to know that no matter what happened to you, it was destined for your journey for the sake of coming to know the power you possess within your own strength to be willing to move forwards into more growth and compassion for a life. No storm is present for no reason. All of them have a purpose which will forever be profound. It is present because you are actually the storm which you are venturing in and through and it begins to clear at a ordained time according to when you begin to understand matters more clearly as you are destined to reach clarity. This moment is a tremendous time for knowing that a celebration of your evolution is at hand. Understand the storm is not there to punish you in the context of what other may wish upon you in your progress, but, the punishment is present simply to purge and guide you from no longer making the previous mistake or mistakes which were made of the past. Every mistake holds a dual integral which offers the opportunity for order. The power is within your choice. Therefore, every problem comes with the solution as the Quran says, with difficulty comes ease. That which is thought and felt to be your punishment is in fact your time of evolution. Don't see it through a screen of hurt and disappointment. Embrace it as your time of evolution. The most powerful gift that anyone could perceive, recognize and embrace more so of their very own essence, and that is in knowing what your very being is designed with and acknowledge the reality that love will forever exist inside of you. Anger and disappointment will never prevail because of the presence of compassion which maintains balance. To read into it without effort, is to read into yourself after trying to reject it because of it being misconducted by some who have chosen to live with in the past in their misconception of love and therefore themselves in living experience. The gift of this is to be able to still recognize your very essence within the very presence of compassion. We are created out of the very essence of compassion. I found that this is where we continue to summon the will to live in understanding the most profound truth of existence and that is, there is truly no death in anything that has been created rather manifested or not. One finds that emotions, rather hurt or haphazardly felt to be utilized irrationally because of the sudden trauma to the intellect, should always be taken into a time of consideration and therefore, wise in our counsel before any unreasonable action is said or done upon the physical. Unfounded within the element of time which lie between the trauma and the response from the effects of the trauma is the vital moment which has to never be negated illogically. That is a very sensitive time upon every aspect of the being, and despite what transpires it is never to be rationalized as having a setting to when anything that is unsound is acceptable upon the principle of inadequacy. Watch your inner self as it moves and speaks its silent language inside transmitted through your most sacred origin of pure feelings of where feelings carry clarity, not emotions. Observe as it understands and as it continues to die to psychological debris accumulated from this environment including common responses and reactions designed and imbued inside of this western culture which is until this moment, contaminating the earth globally. No matter what you face or suffer or force to suffer, understand the importance that you are and will forever be a vibrant and living soul no matter what befall your time. All is but a lesson of coming to know yourself more effectively, more intimately, more delicately and more soundly of where there is always a state of humility keeping your mind sufficiently active and intelligently wise. It's love. Most instances inside of the human journey. 
We all possess thoughts which carry feelings and that transmits to the part of the mind which holds that sacred place that only we understand is a yearning to be able to express a love inside held in us, weighted to be immense with our most honest and beloved intentions. Yes, despite the harshness of the past that almost succeeded in killing us upon the inside and feeling as if the hurt almost penetrated a part of our very beings of where that pure and sacred love exists in the soul that is unadulterated. We survived because love is forever instinctively present even when it feels as a burden, a curse. Life holds to forever be predictably unpredictable. The truth of this reality of living causes the human family to feel even unknowingly, within a constant state of vulnerability not only to other human beings who are harmful, but even to this asserted omnipresent divine force which has also been recorded to have created all of the evil in which we see and face each day that we live including inside of ourselves. I have found myself to never having the fear of being led inside of myself in meditation to not only see and feel the wisdom, the humility and the goodness within which concerns me, but also the evils and the dark areas of the mind and soul as they reveal themselves to only have the power to exist in having been created as a dual part of that which is supposed to be only, good and holy. We strive in trying to gather the information, the intelligence to find a balance and therefore of how to coexist with two major living entities that oppose one another as they live inside of us sometimes being successful in tearing us apart upon the brink of insanity as we know it according to our limited sphere of information rather flawed or absolute. Within all of this conflict and peace within, there is a love inside which screams to be heard because it has a tendency to feel as though it needs to be embraced, accepted, nourished, admonished or even cared for as this only reveals an innocence that is terribly enabled to be easily harmed, even torn into pieces internally of treacherous beings but never destroyed. Due to love never being able to be destroyed completely, many suffer the plight of a healing journey in which for many never ends until their physical deaths emerge them, and thus, they spend the rest of their time upon this earth existing within a state of non-existence. It is beyond compare this voyage titled existing. It cannot be compared because it is all we know and strive to understand. It is a place holding plenty of truths, lies, joys, pains, tears, regrets, happinesses and terrible tragedies said to still possess a necessity for a greater meaning, as many may never come to know unconditionally because of the effects of the past traumas never understood and therefore healed. Despite what this experience has to offer and attack us with the assertion to build us up to that sacred place some may never perceive. I remain one who would rather move forwards to realize it than to remain in stillness because of fear or a doctrine in preventing my mind to perceive clearly what this is and what it means sincerely without uncertainty. Written by David Anthony Brable